I believe that there is energy, clean, safe energy all around us, and that it is our opportunity now and our obligation to find ways to access it. I've always had great fun converting other people's work into my own. When I was a kid, I liked coloring books with lines. As an adult, I like to adapt novels or lives. I am constantly fascinated by what lives in the shadows or what is hidden. The more that we understand what we have at our fingertips, the better our chances are for not wrecking our world. I think that the world is actually rich with the potential for power and that it's very possible that the way we imagine the generation of energy, the way we imagine how we create energy we can consume is habitual. We've fallen into routines. We think we know where energy comes from because we know where it came from. We know how in our father's time, in our grandfather's time, energy was produced. But strangely, I think we have unwittingly become provincial. We turn out to be doing what they did. I believe that we're on the cusp of change. That may be optimistic, and maybe every generation believes they're on the cusp of change. We certainly still live in a time where a misstep could preclude our chance to ever progress, but I'm hopeful. I'm hoping that we can learn to coexist with our planet and to cooperatively enjoy its benefits. It seems impossible for us not to conquer, but I'd like to believe in that now we no longer have to pillage the world in order to use it as the source of how we go forward. I think that in the show you see human beings whose belief, whose dreaming, whose imagination converts into innovation. Part of what is so delightful is the idea of a revisionist view of what the earth can give us to believe that beneath us at all times is a sea of lava powerful enough to drive our world without damaging it. That's an amazing hope. I think the idea that we can open our arms and have wind power more than just our sails, these are not accidentally poetic images because I think they are the images of dreamers. And I think that is also where progress and innovation come from. The idea of imagination and the idea of aspiration can become innovation and a reimagining of our world in a way that gives us more hope for the future.